Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss the topic is how can we um, build a simple search component in Lightning Web Component Programming Model. Before we are going to start the session, please follow basic protective measures against the coronavirus. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Please look into WHO website for latest information. So what we are going to see as part of this session now. So we are going to build a simple search component okay uh, to display the result let's start so here i am going to create a class account search cls and simply i am writing an aura enabled method public static list of account you can say find accounts and then okay or search accounts so let's go to get accounts our favorite method and um, string is city name and from here i just prepare a key here you can do directly in uh, SOKL query also. A city name, whatever we get. So just want to search based on the name. Return. Select RD comma name from account where name like key string simply now what I did I just created an apex method or a apex method get accounts for giving the result and it is it expects a parameter right and here I want to use wire method or I want to wire this method from lightning web component then you have to make cacheable true okay to wire a method you have to annotate arrow enabled true and along with the attribute cacheable true now it is ready to wire okay now let's start our web component search account this is my web component name and as usual I want to use wire decorator and track so I'm importing those things and I have to import my apex class method also right import get accounts from Salesforce apex what is our class name account search class that what is our method name get accounts simply okay now let's have a variable for input okay and a track variable for a 
account list preparation okay and then i am going to wire our method wire what is our method get accounts okay and uh, if you have parameters you have to give and here our parameter name is account name what is the parameter i want to pass here account name from web component okay then you can have retrieve accounts this is your method name i mean you are giving the name for a method so this is apex method this is function in javascript here you will get two parameters you will get a data errors if there is error or data if it is successful okay this is how it looks like and then if there is no error then you have to fill your account list with data if there is any error then you have to you can do anything here like you can do error handling so with this we successfully created a web component what is this such account right this is the one let's save so what we did we are wiring method and passed a variable okay here when you are wiring a method then you don't need to pass like this you can pass with dollar symbol and your variable name like this okay this is the way it can take whenever there is a change on this variable automatically now let's save this successfully saved now let's design our html okay first thing is i need an input right so lightning input type equals search okay then it gives the search symbol nothing else and um, on change i want to call a method so handle key change okay i will define this method in javascript later i'm just applying a style slds m bottom small okay this is such icon for such icon it is and then label is so you can give any label okay i am giving search value equals what is our parameter or what is our variable name you can give this let's close this now let's go with iteration template mm -hmm. okay in template you have for each for your items in our case what is our variable name array this is the array variable name and for item 
this is for I mean for declaring instance to loop through all account list okay account obj and then if you want an index you can give and as you know this for uh, making or for any iteration through template for each you should have a key okay if you are uh, looping through paragraph or a list or uh, an order list or any uh, component here i'm going to use option so for that you have to give key so what is the key so here you have to give unique value so in our case account id always unique value so value is you can give account obj dot name simply done so now let's save Now what we have to define or what we have to write a logic handle key change, right? So let's go to this handle key change event. Okay. And account this dot account name equals event dot target dot value simply done so let's save this so along with this i want to create a tab for this just expose this to lightning experience and set targets is the target here lightning tab okay done now let's save okay now let's create a tab lightning component tab what is that account search or search account this is the one Okay, let's add our tab, how it looks like. Mm -hmm. Search or account search. Done. So let's go to this. See, by default, all this came. And if you want to make, this is how. And okay and if you see here I will show you one thing so for every change it calls our apex method so let me show you one two how many times so I think I didn't set up debug log here. Okay. Anyway, so the thing is, whenever you change anything here, so it calls our Apex class for every change. If you want to make the delay 
or if you want to um, decrease the apex class okay unnecessarily until the word is completed then you can make a delay also okay here so you can do like this also but if you want to uh, do a delay or if you want to define a delay for reducing the apex calls so you just need to do this so let's go to this and here just I'm just making delays constant Equal 300 and <coughs> you can do here window dot clear timeout okay and this dot delay this dot delay timeout equal you can use set timeout method interval and arrow function here this dot account name equals so instead of this you just use constant such string then it works well then okay and delay simply okay let's do I, I didn't change any functionality I want to make it make some delay to reduce my apex method invocation so with that um, with the help of set timeout option I can do that nothing else okay let's go through this Previously, while typing itself, it was coming. Now it will come with the delay. So then it calls the apex method and gives the result. See, okay, it's a small delay and it reduced the apex invocation. Okay, you can check this with this. See here, yeah, now it is coming, right? So you can check this how it works without delay and with delay then you can understand very well okay why do you need to put a delay for invoking apex class so then you can analyze how many times it is calling your apex method without delay and with delay by using this logs okay this is how you can implement a such a simple such component in lightning programming lightning web component programming model okay it's very simple right okay all the best. Please subscribe to Salesforce Techbook.